I, I do want to bring on in another um, another comment that I see as problematic. I, I might make a video just about problematic comments. So Palestinian mm -hmm. lives matter. First of all, yeah, I agree. Palestinian lives certainly do matter. So I'm with you on that, bro. Bro, if you're a woman, sis. Um, Israel. So first of all, again, you know, if, if you want to engage in dialogue with Israelis, you're going to need to call them something other than Israel. If you're not, if you don't want to engage, then I guess that's fine. But the idea that Israel com is completely an illegal state because it was erected by killing and displacing of native people. Again, there was a major injustice of the past. There is no denying that. Some people try to deny it, but there is no denying that. There was a major injustice towards the Palestinian people. Yes, today. But if we're going to decide, hold on, I'm going to put you on mute because it sounds like there's a parrot. If we're going to decide whether a nation gets legitimacy based off the actions of those who created the nation, you have very few legitimate countries in the world. So I will ask you, are you holding Israel to a different standard than you hold all other nations? So in, instead of looking at the past and the injustices of the past, let's look at the present and let's look at at the future, how we could move forward towards common ground. Saying Israel is legitimate has never convinced a single Israeli to change their mind. You get what I'm saying, Palestinian Lives Matter? Let's try a different approach. And I say this to many Israelis who will say the same thing. Palestine never existed. It's not a state. It's a terrorist state. Counterproductive. It is, and it's also taking the, the, the worst of a society and generalizing the entire society as that. So there's just so much wrong with approaching like this. I hope you find a better approach moving forward.